During the process of the probe, the committee traveled to the regions where the most incidents were reported, i.e. Morudije, Togder, and Sanag regions. Meanwhile, the report said the police used excessive force against peaceful demonstrators. Five demonstrators were reportedly killed and allegedly three of them were dead with live ammunition from the police. 76 were wounded and 82 people were arrested during the protest. The report stated that the police chief, Mohammed Sakadi Dawghali, unprecedentedly believes that the casualties that occurred in August should have been more than that. The report, while citing the police chief, said, If I tell you the truth, the way things were happening, there should have been hundreds of injuries. The way things were going and the way the army resisted, some people wanted the country to go into chaos. The committee said in its report that so far, no one has been arrested or prosecuted for the killings and injuries of the protesters by the government. Among the people who were allegedly involved in the crime were men in Land Cruiser car who were told by the committee that they shot a young civilian man. The police chief said that they are still investigating and are working on the case with the Somaliland intelligence. The committee also said that the officials who were interviewed gave conflicting statements about the police and protesters' clash on 11th August to the committee. The Minister of Interior, Mohammed Kahin, confirmed that the demonstrators were not armed with weapons but used stones to attack the police, while the police chief, Mohammed Sakadi Dabokali, made a conflicting statement to the minister and said the protesters used live ammunition against the police personnel.